Hi, I am Vinay Opal and I am back. I have noticed that some of you have registered for the crash course on my website vinayopal.com but not for the Game Changer course. So that's a big mistake. Enroll for the Game Changer course and watch the free lectures. I am not asking you to buy the course. Just enroll and watch the free lectures of the Game Changer course. They are truly unique with short methods that you may have never encountered and such short methods that will transform your physics, take your physics to the next level and have a real impact on your rank on the day of your J exam. So just go to the website, enroll for free for the Game Changer course, watch the free lectures and you'll realize what you've been missing out on. Now let's look at a sort of different type of problems that can come in kinematics. So what I call as intersection problems. So I'm going to start off with an example. So I have two lines at an angle and the blue line is translating upwards with velocity v1. The red line is translating downwards a perpendicular to the line with velocity v2. The blue line also has a velocity perpendicular to the line itself. So the question is asking us find the velocity of the point of intersection. So here in such questions where they ask you to find the velocity or the acceleration of the point of intersection, you should realize that it's not a material particle that is traveling. The velocity of point of intersection is basically the uh, velocity of the imaginary trajectory traced out by the intersection points. So at each instant, there will be a different point of each line that will be the intersection point. So the way to do this type of question, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to see how the lines travel in a dt time. So initially, suppose I have the blue line here and the red line here. In time dt, the blue line will go up by how much? v1 dt and the red line will travel a distance v2 dt in this manner. So what has happened to the intersection point? The intersection point which was this green point here is now. So this is the displacement of the intersection point, the green arrow. Now if I can figure out the displacement of the intersection point and if I divide by dt that will give me the velocity of the intersection point. So that is what I am going to do. The angle between the lines should also be given to us. So let us say that angle is uh, some theta. If I just label these points a, b, c, d. My displacement is AC. AC will be the resultant of these two vectors, the AB vector as well as the AD vector. So if I can figure out the values of AB and AD and I know the angle is theta, I can just write AC would be AB square plus AD squared plus 2AB AD cos theta, just vector uh, addition. And this will be my displacement, let me call it DS. So all I need to do is figure out AB and AD. Now that's very straightforward because this distance is V1 dt. So therefore, if I look at this triangle, so I can simply write AB as V1 dt divided by sine theta from this triangle. AB is the hypotenuse in that triangle. And similarly, AD will also therefore be V2 dt divided by sine theta. Same logic. And all, all we have to do is substitute AB and AD here. So therefore, my displacement ds, which is ac, would come out to be v1 square plus v2 square plus 2 v1 v2 cos theta. Let me take dt as common outside, dt by sine theta is common. And therefore, my velocity of the intersection point would be ds by dt. And therefore, that is going to be v1 square plus v2 square plus 2 v1 v2 cos theta, the whole divided by sine theta. So that will be your velocity of the intersection point. So I hope you've understood how we did this. You have to realize once again, I'm stating that this intersection point in such problems, the intersection is not a material particle. It's different particles of the two lines that are uh, representing the intersection point at different instants. Let's take a look at another question. So suppose I have a circle. The circle is fixed. This dotted line is a diameter. Let's say the radius is R. And I have a line, blue line, parallel to this dotted diameter that is traveling with velocity v perpendicular to the blue line. So once again, I want to find the 
velocity of the point of intersection. So the point of intersection would be this red point here. I want to find that velocity. So I suggest that you pause the video and give it a try and then you can take a look at my solution. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do is let me just draw the circle here. If I just label this distance as x from the center. So I can write dx by dt is v. That will be the velocity of the blue line. And in dt time, let's say the blue line has shifted here. So uh, if I were to just look at what's happening to the angle, this angle will be d theta. So the displacement, this red arrow will be the displacement of the intersection point. Can I write that as r d theta? So basically what do I want? I want the velocity of the point of intersection, so displacement by time dt. So I want basically r d theta by dt. This is what I want. All right. Do I have a relation between x and r? So this is x, this is r. So can I say x is r sin theta? And therefore, dx by dt, which is v, would be r cos theta d theta by dt. I just differentiate the equation on both sides. So I'll have v is equal to r d theta by dt is what we want. So r d theta by dt, which is the point of uh, intersection ka velocity, that will be v by cos theta. So that will be the velocity of the point of intersection. So I hope you've understood how we've analyzed the kinematics of intersection points. See you at the top. Good night.